exciting about us is everybody talks about things from the past you know you, you mentioned affiliations you mentioned stuff like that if you're looking for legit stacked accounts on mb2k19 go hit up at legit accounts tell them dance teacher they hook you right up link in the description guys for all you my team players if you need cheap safe and reliable mt go hit up dvdj.com use code dan for five percent off link in the description guys so many shit just came out this week um i noticed running to chaos talking about the park affiliations about some stuff in the past and shit like that um the new park just got leaked out on twitter i'm not for sure if it's real we're gonna check it out if it actually is real as well guys i'm doing that 2k20 giveaway if you guys didn't know for the past couple of videos i've been warning you guys or telling you guys to like up the video shit like that so I hope you guys get your like a higher chance of winning the 2k20 copy now we'll be doing a little giveaway like live on uh, i think august like maybe 20th or something like that so if you guys didn't know i can see if you guys are notified to my channel if you guys are subscribed to my channel even if you dislike or like the video i can even see that so again comment down below you're loyal or something like that or you guys want to do the giveaway because i'm for sure doing this little giveaway but again no matter what the region is so if you're from japan i'll do it for japan if you're from eu i'll do it from eu if you're from australia no matter who wins you're still gonna copy all right again i'm doing like four or five copies so again the date for i guess to i guess for the giveaway will be like august ish around like late august so again now i'm gonna show you guys the parks and what it looks like so i talked about the little giveaway and shit like that so again guys now the park what it looks like is right here now this could be fake this could be real i'm not for sure but the looks of it guys i'm gonna show you guys another screenshot that's been going on around 2k i mean not on 2k but on twitter saying you know this actually is fake it's just a place in like uh i think they say it's las vegas I think and shit like that. I'm not for sure. It could be real. So I'm gonna show you guys the pictures and shit like that. You can see right there the pictures and shit. So by analyzing these two pictures, for sure it's just fake 100%. Because they could, you could just tell that they just got that photo over there, put on Photoshop, got a big ass TV, right? You know, Photoshop a little bit. You know, with 2K20 and all that shit, the logo and all that. What they have now, put that shit on top of a, a fucking building, put a fake court, right? And then boom, you know, they just make it look like if uh, you know they just took a screenshot out of like a I guess a PC computer out of a devs you know PC computers like that and you know they can make it like that and shit like that but for sure it's fake all right you can tell by the looks of it it looks fake to me already um it looked pretty real at the beginning but then I just paid it like close attention I saw the details to it and it just looked garbage so again don't really believe everything that you see on Twitter nowadays because you know I think I just saw one about the archetypes I'll be making a video on that one soon on what are uh, you know my thoughts of the archetypes and shit like that now for 2k20 parks regarding with that or neighborhood whatever it's called they gotta leak out something new because i'm tired of like you know seeing some fake shit so that 2k20 like you know running 2k or ld2k has to leak something to i guess like motivate us to get us hyped up for something because as of right now the game is looking pretty trash i'm not gonna lie if they're gonna have road to 99 it's gonna be complete garbage no one really wants that now regarding with the parks and neighborhood whatever it's gonna be called i'm not for sure I'd love to play Miami Beach, to be honest. Like, it's like a sunset beach, I guess, from the old days. But I'd love to play Miami Beach, to be honest. That's pretty cool, in my opinion. I'd fuck with that 100% if they did make a park based on Miami Beach, because I am from Miami. So, of course, I'd love to play in that park every single day. But again, they got to take out this little neighborhood shit right here. If you guys did notice in this, I guess, in 2K19, if you guys have noticed it or not, whenever, um, you know, people are just standing around, like, I guess, waiting in, like, the sidewalk area where you guys load in, right? That counts as if you're in the park. So whenever you're not playing, right? Whenever you see the course like not full or anything like that, most of the times it's people just standing around in like the neighborhood type shit, just walking around. And it counts as people are in the park, which I thought was pretty stupid. They should have kept like how 2K18 was where like the park and the neighborhood were kind of split together. You'd go into like a different server if you guys like, you know, I think I was walk past the little poles. If you guys didn't remember 2K18, there's like these little two poles that like you know stood down right there if you walk past them it'll bring it to like a whole new server or something else like that I'm not for sure what it was but again it brought to like a new server and it was there from the i guess the neighborhood so they should do like that in my opinion because parks get really dead this year than last year for sure they were pretty dead last year but again this year they get completely dead because people are just standing around in the neighborhood just walking around going for clothes doing like i guess gatorade exercises go to like to shop and that counts like if you're in the park which is kind of stupid in my opinion so again take that shit out in my opinion bring some Miami beach park ish park i guess based because they can't really copy it but you know copy a little bit of it take some ideas from miami beach put it into a park 
I'll put there every single day, like, you know, in my opinion. So now I'm going to show you guys a, a little clip from Ronnie2k talking about the little park affiliations, gameplay, and shit like that. And then we're going to, like, I guess, analyze it. And we're going to talk about that shit in a couple seconds. You can't disclose, but I have to push an ad. Is there going to be no, a you change? Keep pushing. Is there going to be any change that's going to be surprising to the community? I know you can't go into oh, the details, you know, but mean, is there going to be any that's going to be a super surprise to the community? It wouldn't be an NBA 2K franchise unless every single year we had a massive innovation. I mean, uh, kudos to our incredible development team. We are always pushing the envelope. There's always something that's really exciting and stands out. You know, I talk about 2K10, we introduced career. 2K14 was next gen. And the, the first time you saw the park and uh, 2K11, we had cruise. 2K15, we had the JRC and face scanning, you know, like, we're always continuing to push the envelope 2k18 we have the neighborhood um so i i fully expect that you know there's going to be something massive that's going to be the next thing that everybody wants to play and i what's exciting about us is everybody talks about things from the past you know you, you mentioned affiliations you mentioned stuff like that what about the things that you can anticipate right like we have some stuff that's coming that is going to just blow the minds of our fans like we do every single year so first thing guys i don't want the guy to the left was like blinking so much i don't think you guys even noticed that but the guy was like looking like at least 20 times for some reason every time ronnie tiki was talking it was kind of weird in my opinion he blinked at least like 20 times every second it's kind of weird but again guys listen um what i noticed i guess ronnie was talking about was what you know he said that you know they don't want to bring back you know park affiliations all in the past the crew was in the past the Jordan Rec Center and all that shit with the, you know, walking around with their clothes and shit like that was on the past. They want something new and shit like that, which I think is stupid in my opinion. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. There's really no point of fixing that because it was the best thing since ever. I guess that was what made 2K, you know, on top in my opinion when they had, you know, all these like affiliations with the park affiliations, the different type of parks. Because I already know whenever like 2K brings back something from the past, they try to make it better, but for some reason it always fucks up. All right, so I can tell the rep system. We always wanted a rep system for 2K19. We got it, but it was complete garbage because no one wants to play you. You're elite three. Your record's too godly and requires literally when you get the elite three, there's only like there's only to it. You can get a lead three, but it's just an icon, basically, all right? You get it like, you know, a uh, lead three symbol, and that's it. You get nothing else. You don't get anything for, you know, hitting a lead three, which is kind of stupid in my opinion. And there's nothing past a lead three. You just lead three, and you're basically, you know, uh, basically what lead three gives you, you're a try hard, and no one really wants to play you. That's what you get for lead three, which is kind of stupid. And then they brought back the Jordan Rec Center. Everyone wanted a Jordan Rec Center for 2K19. We got it back, but it's fucking complete garbage. You can't play... Um, you know, you can't just walk around like if it's like park and shit like that And it doesn't feel like park it actually feels like, you know, pro-am and shit like that That's what walk-on's for you just made basically just basically what this is what they did They put walk-on right They just changed the title and just put Jordan Rec Center and basically that's all they did And and we didn't want that we basically wanted like a park type of feel of like a 5v5 with the fouls and shit like that So again, they couldn't do that Every time, every single time they bring back something back, like, you know, what we want, they always fuck up, all right? They're going to bring back a park affiliations, right? But they're not going to have shit for it. It's going to be garbage. So there's really, in my opinion, guys, if they bring back shit like that, it's gonna, they're going to make it 10 times worse. They're going to break it. No matter what it is, they're going to break it. Every single time, they always break it, no matter what. Look, another thing they broke actually in the game, if you guys haven't noticed, Antiope, right? Basically called stage, whatever you guys want to call it, whatever your definition of uh, Antiope or stage is, right? They fucked it up. We wanted a 24-7 stage, right? And we wanted high rollers. They gave us 24-7 stage, but then no high rollers. There's something in the game that you always fuck up. We, they bring it back, right? But then they fuck it up. And they just never fix it. I don't know why they do this. They never have an event for high rollers. They just, you know, just kind of like, you know, 24-7 um, anti up or stage, whatever you guys want to call it. Which I think is kind of stupid. So again... I don't really want them to bring park fish They're going to fuck it up. Every single time they bring back something that we want, they're going to mess it up. Like archetypes. I already know damn well. If they brought back outside and insides and balance from 2K16, 2K15, if they brought that shit back, they're going to fuck it up. And I know they're going to fuck it up because every single time they're going to mess up a thing that we want back. And it's always been like this since 2K what? 2K18. They always mess it up. 2K19, we got some of the stuff back, right? But it's complete garbage. And we didn't want that shit. To be honest, in my opinion, the only time the archetype system that actually did work, in my opinion, was 2K17. Because in 2K17, everything was balanced. 
everybody can shoot, everybody can can rebound, everybody can get steals. It's not just one archetype that can get steals in this game, like the lockdowns and shit like that. Lockdowns weren't even OP on 2K17. They just had good defense, and if you were bad at defense, they, they, you know, they're not going to reward you for anything in 2K17. But then in this game, they reward you for everything, because you can play bad defense, right? And you can get the ball back every single time just by spamming. In 2K17, you had to spam at the right moment. Every single archetype can get the ball back, but the problem was in 2K17 that um it wasn't like, you know, you can get the steal every single time. There will be some moments you are gonna, you know, you're gonna fuck up and shit like that. I made this video pretty fucking long, but it's just my experience with 2K19 and shit like that. So again, please don't ask for parking, because if we ask for parking officials, they're gonna make it 10 times worse, no matter what. Every single time they make it worse. Like Jordan Rec Center was garbage. The rep system was garbage. If they bring back the, you know, Rec Center and shit like that, they're gonna make it 10 times worse again. Alright, so again, multiple parks and shit like that. Just make something new, I guess, 2K, because I literally have no hope for y'all.